dumped the bike last Saturday evening. Engine still runs. The whole front end needs to be replaced. Bent rim, forks are warped, handlebars, risers, clutch cable. Brake cables are good. Throttle cable is good. Frame seems to be all right. Uh, where is that thing? Yeah, my gas tank's fucked up somewhere. Yeah, you see it? You can see it. There we go. Gas tank, no boy, no. Rear saddlebag is good, primary's done. Uh, exhaust, new, needs an ex needs exhaust. Bike still runs. The helmet right here. I hit a car with it and then landed on the ground and you can't see nothing. Just a couple of little scrapes in the back. See? That was after I was sliding on my face, which for some weird reason, this is the only part that got grounded down. Um, helmet's still intact. I don't know how he did it. And then a jacket, my scorpion jacket, which I'll never, never not wear ever again, save my life. Here's the back. I started sliding on my face. Once I knew I was still sliding, I popped my shoulder to f land on my back, which I did, and I kept sliding for about three, three one thousandths, one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, about three and a half one thousandths. I, uh, I stopped and I proceeded to roll out of traffic, landed in the middle lane, I'm right in the middle of two lanes, and then this lady witness grabbed the back of my jacket, good thing she was in the army like me. And she yanked me out of the rest of the road. I was bedridden from Sunday morning to about Monday morning. Got out of bed, started walking up and down the steps. I've got all scrapes and bruises. I'll show you guys. Scrape. Bad scrape. Belly scrape. This is the only part that I couldn't bend was right here above my knee. I couldn't bend my leg for like 48 hours. It's now Monday evening, about midnight. And uh, yeah, tomorrow I'm gonna start working out. The doctor never gave me painkillers. He asked me if I wanted painkillers. I said no. And the only thing that's getting me through all of this is my will to ride again and rebuild my bike. And uh, and bacitracin ointment, believe it or not. That's a real story. I got the shakes about 65. I say I was doing 60, they say I was doing 70. About 65, got the shakes. Tried pushing on the handlebars, tried downshifting, tried braking. It was probably the longest shakes anybody ever seen on a bike with apes. And uh, when I lost control of the shakiness, I was like, dude, tell you the truth I was like Jesus I'm in your hands I hit the car's rear quarter panel with my helmet and the left part the right part the left part of my handlebars which as you can see that's the only part that hit the bike and then I was face down sliding and there's no not even any severe scratches on my helmet like it, you could still wear it it's a bit well by the way awesome and because uh, it's built well and this is a scorpion jacket right here, which I will always wear for the rest of my life. And I was wearing my Army Edition steel tip uh, boots that I received in 2007 when I hit Alaska in October. Fort Richardson. It's 2017 right now. I think the date of the accident was 4 8 17. It was a Saturday. And yeah, rode the ambulance all the way in. I was in the hospital for about two hours, walked out of the hospital. 
70 miles an hour, my head hit another car, slid. I was real calm, watching a lot of motorcycle races. I see how they slide, and that's what I did. I didn't even panic, boom, I'm alive. And to tell you the truth, I don't think that I'd be alive today if I told Jesus to put my life in his hands. And that's God's honest truth.